Hi, I'm Brendan Daly, an attorney at Sapega Daly Pope and Perry. A question I'm often asked is, can I really lose my house to the nursing home? Unfortunately, the answer is, well, sort of. You may need to sell your home and use the proceeds to pay for nursing home care. And in Connecticut, the cost of long-term care is the second highest in the country. The average cost of care in a Connecticut nursing home is about $15,000 a month. Think about that for a second. $15,000 a month comes out to $180,000 a year. And it goes without saying that at these prices, it's very easy for somebody to deplete their life savings to pay for care. And yes, once the money's gone, you may have to liquidate your house to continue to pay for care. So what happens when your money completely runs out? You can apply for Medicaid, also known as Title 19, and if approved, the government will pay for your care. So without proper planning, losing your house is certainly possible. But this isn't always the case. For example, if you're married and your spouse resides in a nursing home, you'll be able to keep your house and your spouse in the nursing home can receive Medicaid benefits. If you're single, the house is at risk, but there are options to preserve the house for your children, like using an irrevocable trust. Transferring assets like your home, bank accounts, and brokerage accounts into this type of trust can protect them from the cost of long-term care. Keep in mind, that in order to protect assets, they need to be in an irrevocable trust for at least five years before applying for Medicaid. And also keep in mind that this only works for an irrevocable trust. A lot of people think that their homes are protected if they're owned by a revocable living trust, but this isn't the case. If you're not sure whether your trust is irrevocable, check with the attorney who drafted it for you. And if you'd like to learn more about how you can protect your house and other assets from the cost of nursing home care, give us a call. Thank you for watching.